Ah, good evening, friends and cinema lovers alike. My name is Count Camille, speaking on behalf of Colonial Theatre Committee member and host Ben Stansberry, who is, um, shall we say, indisposed. <laughs> Tonight's film is The Most Dangerous Game from 1932, directed by Irving Pichel and Ernest B. Schoetzak based on the short story of the same name by Richard Connell. Hmm. It is one of the most influential horror and adventure stories of the early 20th century, inspiring over a dozen adaptations and countless media influenced by the story's central man-hunting-man conflict. Now, bear in mind, this is a pre-Hays Code film, so there will be considerably more violent content than you may expect from a film of this era. Of course, we in the Animal Kingdom are beyond such vicious human conflict and would never, ever... Hey, Master! Uh, uh, what is it, Igor? Here's that head <laughs> from your last hunt, Master. <laughs> Polished and ready for the trophy room. <laughs> Igor, what did I tell you? No body parts in polite company. Unless there are traveling salesmen, I know, I know. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, did you tell them about the King Kong connection yet? <laughs> That's my favorite part. Yes, yes, I was just getting to that. This film was made simultaneously along another RKO classic, King Kong, sharing many of the same cast, crew, and even sets. <laughs> so, without further ado, sit back, relax, and it don't put that in your mouth! Oh, 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 uh, apologies, Master. Um, what do we do with the rest of the body? <sighs> Ah, I have it. <laughs> Refreshments, anyone? <laughs> Enjoy the film. <laughs> 